My name is Ed Hollis and this is my video presentation for the Institute of Structural Engineers Young Structural Engineering Professional of the Year 2014. The project I've chosen to present is called LOOS. Uh, LOOS is an art installation which was exhibited at the Secret Garden Party Festival in Cambridgeshire last summer and is due to be exhibited again at the Burning Man Festival in the Nevada desert in the US uh, later this summer. The project was really exciting to work on and I think it showcases uh, a wide range of my abilities and my performance as I was heavily involved with it right from its inception all the way through to the construction. Uh, the architects Red Deer had developed the concept of uh, surrounding a dance floor within a tetrahedral pyramid uh, which was mirrored on the inside to create a kaleidoscopic space um, inside. Um, myself and my director at Structure Mode, Jeff Morrow, uh, sat down with the design team and we started devising ideas about how they could develop the uh, form, how to achieve the form and how to get the characteristics they needed to create that space. Um, and I think the, from the first meeting we were able to come up with some suggestions which made it a bit more special than the off-the-shelf uh, installation which they had originally envisaged. Having recently bought a book on reciprocal frames, uh, this concept was very much fresh in my mind when we were sat down at the design meeting. Um, the solution really seemed to suit our situation ideally because it, it offered a buildability factor uh, due to the smaller repeated elements that could be handled easily. Uh, but it also produced uh, a geometry that really complemented the overall form of the tetrahedral pyramid. Um, the acrylic was the ultimate material of choice which um, obviously offered the transparent qualities that we were after uh, but also it's slightly more workable on site, it can be drilled um, and it's also a bit more durable than glass would have been. Uh, I started to develop a digital analysis model um, where I could check the stresses of each of the acrylic elements both under the 70 mile an hour winds that we were getting in the Nevada desert but also of the extreme diurnal temperature changes that were in effect here ranging from minus 5 up to 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, the next stage in the process was to start thinking about the connection details. Um, each of the acrylic elements meets its uh, neighbouring element at an acute angle and we have hundreds of these details uh, in, our, in our structure. Uh, in order to get our barrel knot and bolt solution to work we would have needed hundreds of bespoke tapered washers to provide the bolts with a flat bearing. Um, having totaled up the cost of this uh, it became apparent that it was something that needed looking at uh, and it was this point I realised that if we could slightly oversize the acrylic elements and use the offcuts from chamfering their edges, um, we would then have uh, a bar of acrylic that would be inherently cut at the right angle to be the tapered washer. Um, using this process meant that we saved quite a sum of money on the fixings, but also meant we minimised the wastage of the acrylic. Defining aspect of the project for me was being able to get involved with the construction on site. Um, although it involved some quite long hours building through the night at the festival, it was great to get hands-on with that which I had been designing and analysing over the preceding months. I thoroughly enjoyed working on the project and I will be very proud to see it assembled once again in its next location. Overall, uh, it had been mentally and physically challenging at times, but ultimately very rewarding. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about Luz. Thank you.